and everyone, it's Ashley from Bad Boy Fashion, and today I'll be doing my March favorites. Now, it has been a while since I've done one of these. Perhaps last May? I didn't want to say that, but I'm thinking it's last May was the last time I did one of these. So, let's get right into it. We are off with the beauty favorite. My favorite foundation for this month has been the Revlon Nearly Naked um, Foundation, and I am 110 Ivory, which is the lightest pink shade. Um. I really like it. Um, I don't apply it over my whole face. I just apply it where needed, um, like my jaw area mostly. And I really like it. I apply it with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, or with my Real Techniques um, Complexion Face Sponge. So that's how I apply it. And I'm actually not wearing it today. I'm not wearing any makeup today because I'm just gonna be running all day. Um, Taking my brother to baseball practice. I picked up Gabriel from work and then I have babysitting tonight, so it's gonna be a long day that I'm not doing makeup today. So, love this foundation. For blusher, I have been really loving this BH Cosmetics 10 color palette of glamorous blushes. And I got this uh, through Hot Look, it was up on there, and I had some credits that were gonna expire, so I decided to pick up this palette. And it comes with a bunch of different colors. It has like peachy tones, a mauve, a radiant orchid, a hot pink, um, peachy coral, some reds, and berries in it. Very pretty, and I really like this palette. So it gives me a bunch of varieties, and this will be perfect for traveling because you get a bunch of colors in an easy palette. About palettes, I have two eyeshadow palettes that I've just been using nonstop this month, and they are the Lorac Pro Palette, which I have been using in pretty much all my tutorials lately. Which is like this: it has um, a bunch of matte shades, a bunch of shimmer, and I've just been really loving this palette. And then the other palette is my Urban Decay Naked Basics, which is a great big mirror. And it has all these great colors. They're all neutral. So some days when I just want a little bit of color, I'll just do um, walk of shame all over the lid. And then a little bit of naked too. In the crease. And then I'm done. So I just have like a little bit something. And then I'll just put some mascara. And maybe a BB cream and some blush or some something like that. I just like to keep it simple on some days. Okay. And then we have... A mascara and it is the oh, it's so big volumizing mascara by Elizabeth Mott and I got this in Ipsy bag a few months ago and then um, I didn't really try it but I have a friend who I convinced to sign up for Ipsy and she was telling me that she really liked this mascara that she bought the full size that I'm like hmm I should go try mine out so I did and I really like this mascara I think it's like ten dollars for the full tube so I might purchase it sometime not right now because I just bought the CoverGirl um, Clump Crusher, the green tube, to try out. And so far, I'm really liking it. Okay, and then we have some lip products because, you know, I'm going to have a lot. Um, the first one, we'll start with the base, is the ELF Studio Lip Exfoliator. It's really great on getting your dry skin um, off and to moisturize your lips during this really harsh winter and early spring and stuff. Definitely be loving this. And then I have two lipsticks. The first one is the Kate Moss by Rimmel in number 104. And I think I saw this on the blog Novia Cheap, and I really like the color. And so I had it on my eye touch of a lipstick I really wanted to pick up. And then I had a dollar off coupon, so I think it'll be real cheap. And it's just a beautiful rosy matte um, pink lipstick. Love this. And then my favorite, like, nudie pink of this month has been the Michael Marcus lipstick in Anne. It's just like that, and it's just real beautiful and natural, like, but with pink. And then I have a Red Bone Lip Butter in 050 Berry Smoothie. And this is, like, my favorite berry lip color right now. It's just amazing, perfect. It's not too bold, and it's not too light. It's just perfect. For a lip gloss, I have a berry color that's also kind of stains your lips a little bit, so it's really nice. And it just came out by e.l.f. 
It's their um, Extra um, Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Michael. And I actually found this at a different Target than I normally go to. I found they had a ton of um, Elf stuff, and they had a bigger um, beauty selection than the one I typically go to. So I can go there from now on for some of my beauty stuff. But it's really nice, and there is a, a hint of shimmer, but it doesn't come off too shimmery on the lips. And it is, really is a great gloss by e.l.f. So definitely check these out. Um, I definitely want to try, try out more color. Nail polish. I have been really loving the Rimmel London um, 60 second polishes, which I think just came out in the States. Um, I think they came out in the UK last year, or perhaps the end of last year. But I have three shades. I have Caramel Cupcake, which is like a perfect like nude deep um, brown for me, where it looks like I'm not really wearing too much color. And then this la Lilac, which is I Lilac You. And then the final one, see the color for this one the front, is Insta Coral. It's a little brighter than I would like, but it's kind of pretty. So, I like, so that is all my beauty favorites. Um, let me look at my list. Okay, we're going to go backwards through my list. We're going to do fashion. So, one of the things I've been really loving is this J. Crew. Shopper button down that I picked up at Close Mentor um, this month, and I think I got for fourteen dollars. And it's so soft and perfect to wear um, with jeans and skirts and everything and dresses. That I've just been loving this, and I've been wearing it a, a lot, like more than you've seen on the blog. Like some weeks, I will wear it three times that week, layered and styled a different way every time. So definitely been loving this. Another thing I've been loving are my gingham shirts. I have one by the brand Sanctuary, which was from Anthro. And I got this at Clothes Mentor 2, and this was $14 also. And I have a recent outfit post of me wearing this, and I just love this shirt. And then I also have one from Forever 21 that I got for $14, I think, um, that I really like too. This is perfect, and I have worn this with a blog too. So all these I have worn. If I can find, I'll try to find the links for when I've worn these po on my blog and put the links down below so you can see. And then, um, me and my sister Gabrielle did a tr closet trade where she traded an item to me and I gave her an item that she's really been wanting. So I gave her an OSAP uh, floral tunic, which she wore in our latest outfit post which is the same one where I wear the green gingham blouse, so you can, you'll see it in there. And she gave me this um, Banana Republic skirt, which is black. Um, this is A-line, a full A-line, and it's from their Mad Men collection back in 2011. So I really love this, and she got this at um, a local shop, I believe, called Simply Chic. I believe that's where she got it. So I've been really loving this. And all the shirts I showed you would would go with this skirt. So, okay, all matches. Okay, TV shows. Um, my dad got me hooked on the show 24. This is series one, and I watched series one in about a week's time. So I haven't started the second series yet because I'm so busy and I don't have time to. So I'm hoping at the end of April. And beginning of May, I will have some free time, so I'll start watching up 24 again then. Because it's really intense, and you will not want to stop watching the show once you start. You just want to keep watching until it's done. Because it takes place, each episode is one hour in real time. So which makes it for a really cool show that I really like it. And I, Though I did see some things coming, and I knew who the real mole was, so I guess I watched too much Sherlock and read too much Sherlock Holmes, and I guess I questioned it, so yep, really like this. And then the other ones I don't have anything to show, but is um, they're both ABC shows. The first one is Once Upon a Time, and not that it's back, um, though I'm not too familiar with the Wicked, um, Storyline, so for me, I'm a little, um, not know what's gonna happen or anything. I have some idea, but not much. But I'm really enjoying it. And then the other one is Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Love that show, and I'm glad it's still going. I really like it. 
And I really hope they do the um the show on um, Peggy Carter will be picked up. I think it has. I'm not sure. Positive. But I really hope it is because I'd love to see a show on Peggy. Okay. Music. I have three bands that I have been really loving this month. The first one is Twin Forks. They are an American band that, um, they're like folksy, um, Americana, um, rock, light rock, um, kind of music group. Um, I'll have a link to them down below, which I've been really liking their music. And then Bastille, um, really loving them, like Pompeii, um, what's the, Things We Lost in the Fire, loving those two songs by Bastille and they are a UK group. And then the third one is London Grammar and they are another UK group. And the song that I've been loving is Metal and Dust, Strong, uh, Wasting Our Young Years, practically their whole album I love. Same for Bastille and Twin Forks. But I'll have links down below to them and then maybe perhaps my favorite songs. So I'll highlight that below. So that is my March favorite. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And let me know what has been your favorites for this month down below in the comments. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.